Welcome, this is Master Prophet Noel teaching you Enter the Secret Temple Volume 1 and 2 CD set In this course you will learn who are the new breed of temple priests and the secret gateway you must follow to enter in where magic, divination, wealth and spiritual power is available to all that join we will continue with today's teaching, Enter the Secret Temple Volume 1 and 2 CD set. We'll be right back with today's teaching. Who is given access to the Secret Temple? Many believers worldwide struggle to operate in the gift of prophecy. They struggle to manifest true spiritual powers. They struggle to speak wisdom like nuggets of gold. Due to the hidden fact, you were not permitted access to enter the secret temple. There is a place that all gifted prophets and psychics and mediums and world leaders and the super rich come to when they desire to learn secrets and gain powers. This place is called the secret temple. There are three gateways to enter the Temple of Secrets. Gateway to the Secret Temple number one. You are a descendant of the bloodline that worship the gods and deities located at the temple. When you examine the secret society of the Illuminatis, the leaders of the New World Order, the Bilderberg groups, skulls and bones, you will quickly realize that those that have access to the Temple of Secrets are the descendants of the bloodline. These secret societies never permit outsiders access to the Temple of Secrets where they perform their rituals. Gateway to the Secret Temple number 2 You were brought to the temple and dedicated there since birth. When you read the Old Testament Bible, you will witness that future spiritual leaders were brought to the Secret Temple from birth that permitted them access later in life. It was common in the Old Testament tradition to tie a rope around the spiritual leader's leg in case he was not permitted access to the temple. He would drop dead where outsiders would drag his body out using the rope tied around his leg. Gateway to the secret temple number three. A spiritual leader must introduce you to the gods and deities that control the secret temple. When a spiritual leader has performed his ritual or ceremony to permit you the seeker access, the gods and deities of the Temple of Seekers will grant you access only when they provide you a mystical sign. You must wait for the mystical sign to manifest before access is given. For 30 years of the life of the great prophet Jesus Christ, he manifested no spiritual powers until the day he encountered John the Baptist who introduced them to his God, performed the ritual purification, and as Jesus waited for the mystical sign, which was a dove he encountered that gave him access to the secret temple to empower him to start his ministry. There is only three gateways to the temple of secrets. Now listen to this live prophecy I gave to this caller that I received from the secret temple that revealed her future. Listen closely to this live prophecy. When I was doing a session this morning for your mother, your grandmother came to me and just told me something that um, I found a little weird and um, she wanted me just to let you know about this situation. And she was telling me something about, um, she was telling me that to tell your mother to make sure to find the picture. That she has a picture, your mother had a picture and that she wanted uh, your mother to make sure that she keeps it around her. But another thing that she had told me about you, Diane, is that she's telling me that you seem to be a little bit fearful, a little bit scared. And you're walking around with fear, Diane, because you're trying to hide. She keeps telling me you're trying to hide. You're trying to hide. And, you know, you have to understand, Diane, is that if you hide, you're going to cause more, more troubles in your life because of the simple reason that you're not going to be able to, uh, you, because she keeps telling me that you're hiding like in an aspect of you don't want to be seen, like you don't want to go on a job market because you don't want the police or whatever it is, you're hiding, you're hiding. And this is going to cause a lot of limitations in your life. Have you been hiding uh, from anyone or from anything? And we're trying to move, trying to get out and move back to Minnesota and 
Because the, the reason why she tell me that is this. This is the reason why she's telling me that. She she seems like you're 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 um, a fearful of putting your name out there, putting your social, putting your information that you might get in trouble with the law or whatever. That you're somewhat like hiding, and that you're like you're you're scared of, of being exposed. What I'm trying, yeah, that's what she's trying to say. That's what I'm trying to explain to you, Diane, is that hiding. And in that, and in that, and in that point that I'm just making to you and I'm prophesying to you, is that she's telling me that that is not good. And you know why she's saying it's good? Because it's always going to limit you. You see, she keeps telling me you're trying to hide. You're trying not to be on the books. You're trying not to put your social, get a job where they can physically see you or hear you or anything. And in that, and in that process, Diane, you're going to put limitations on your life. You understand? Because you're supposed to be doing a lot of things. And if, you, if you're fearful of going to get a job so that your name won't show up or your social and they won't know where you're finding, that's hiding. Yeah. You understand? And she's probably talking about, like, driving through because my life is all messed up and I, like, so many places I need to go and I don't even leave the kids my life is all messed up and yeah. I want to do, yeah, I want to do a lot of things and I don't want to be exposed and I don't want to be in trouble 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 and you, you, at some point, you're going to have to sit down and really contemplate and just think about this whole thing and really get some clarity in it. Because you have to make decisions, Diane, because you're very young and you can't walk through life hiding and not in your case. In your case, you can't really afford to do it. I think in, in, in your mind, you, you, you think you could, but realistically speaking, you're too young to be even contemplating that because... The, you know, you're going to be in a situation where you're going to want to drive. You're going to be in a situation where you're going to need to earn money. There's a lot of things that you have to show your face. And if you're going to hide, you're going to be limiting yourself. And you're not going to be able to be productive um, to the degrees. Because this is what she's telling me, Diane. In your, and let me tell you why she bring this up. Now, have you told me any of the situation that you're hiding, that you don't want to show your face because you don't want to uh, get this trouble in your life? Have you told me any of that information? Now, this is what's why she told me this, Diana. Listen closely. The reason why she told me that, that you must uh, address this about hiding, about being fearful that the uh, police come and bother with you, about fearful about getting a job and doing these things. The reason why she told me this, Diane, is simple. She's telling me this. The reason why she's bringing this up, Diane, is because you're going to be tempted. You see, there's people that are going to come into your life that are going to learn how to make fast money, and you're going to be tempted if you don't figure out a way how to reappear into society. You're going to be tempted with the people that are around you. You see, there's people right now around you, Diane, that can keep hitting, that live lives that are hitting. But you see, they do illegal things. And you're going to be tempted to come into that world because of your circumstances. Do you understand what the prophet is saying? Yes. Because the spirits are telling me, listen closely. There's going to be someone who's offering. Now listen closely. You're going to have someone who's going to be offering to hold drugs for them in, their, in your house. They're going, to, they're going to be offering. They're going to be offering, you know, just hold this here. Just keep it here. And don't worry, but we'll pay you. We'll give you good money. And you're going to be tempted because you're hiding and you're going to have to figure out a way to... To, uh, to support yourself. Now, have you been getting any temptations of maybe looking at um, uh, things that you shouldn't look at? Um, let's see. Yeah, the, the uh, what's it called? Uh, somebody, uh, I don't like the fact that, that but I don't, I don't even want to talk about my kids. Don't. Okay, but the question is, have you been, have you been tempted? Have you, has somebody offered you that? Yeah, and and there's and there's a guy that's that's coming into your life who's gonna offer this, and he's gonna wanna leave some stuff in your house. 
And the thing is, Diane, join today for $89. The School of the Prophets 24 CDs and five week phone mentorship with Master Prophet Noel, the leader of the prophetic. Master Prophet Noel is an anointed author of 126 prophetic courses, has mentored over 500 prophets worldwide, and will personally mentor you with his own School of the Prophets. Stop letting low level prophets mentor you from a famous name bishop's church and come to the leader of the prophetic. Call the Florida office at 954-639-3169 or visit the website at www.masterprofitnoel.com.